A uh, new report this morning indicates that Dell is trying to phase out all the chips made in China by next year. Dell's bold stride away from China's chip production marks a surprising twist in the tech world's narrative, challenging conventional global business strategies. In a landscape where most are drawing closer to China, Dell's decision to distance itself raises eyebrows and questions alike. Why would a tech giant like Dell pivot in such a unique direction? And what implications does this hold for the industry at large? Stay with us as we delve into the motivations, repercussions, and the broader context of Dell's daring move. In the early months of 2023, Dell surprised the industry by announcing their intention to achieve the Chinification chips by 2024. This move has puzzled many, leading to speculation about its reasoning. While most companies are seeking to strengthen their connections with the Chinese market in our increasingly interconnected world, Dell is taking a different approach by distancing itself from China. This decision has raised numerous questions. What's even more surprising is that Dell is not only restricting the use of chips manufactured in China, but also avoiding those made in Chinese factories, even if they are intended for non-Chinese brands. Some may draw parallels between this decision and historical isolationist policies. However, as a leader in technology, what drove Dell to make such a bold move? Some suggest that Dell's decision stems from concerns about supply chain security. Recent global security incidents, particularly the U.S. government's unilateral restrictions on Chinese tech giant Huawei, have made Dell increasingly uneasy about relying solely on China for chip supplies. To mitigate potential risks in the supply chain, Dell chose to diversify its sources, reducing its dependence on China and avoiding the risk of over-reliance. However, this decision may have been seen as extreme, and Dell may have struggled to strike the right balance between risks and benefits. It has not been well received in the Chinese market, with a significant decline in shipments. According to Connolly's data, Dell's shipments in China dropped by 52% year-on-year in the second quarter, resulting in a loss of its third-place position to the emerging player Huawei. Analysts widely attribute this decline to Dell's decision and its lukewarm attitude toward the Chinese market. Chinese consumers have expressed their confusion and dissatisfaction with Dell's choice. Dell, as a foreign brand, had previously enjoyed success in China due to its In China for China strategy, which resonated strongly with consumers who believe Dell genuinely cared about their needs. However, Dell's move towards de-Chinification has disappointed consumers and undermined their trust. This shift in strategy has not yielded the expected results and has instead presented challenges for the company. Dell's attempts to relocate production away from China have proven difficult, and alternative markets like Vietnam have not met their expectations. Additionally, Dell's performance in the Chinese market has been disappointing, marked by a decline in market share and sales. In response to these challenges, Michael Dell, the company's founder, felt compelled to defend the decision publicly. He emphasized that the decision was not solely focused on the Chinese market, but aimed at diversifying the global supply chain. However, the Chinese market did not respond positively to his defense, applying pressure on the company instead. China, as a nation that values its autonomy, independence, and innovation, has emerged as a significant player in technology research and development. It is no longer merely a passive market, but a dynamic force capable of making independent decisions. To thrive in the Chinese market, foreign brands must show respect for China's sovereignty and safeguard their presence in this vital market. This principle has evolved into a well-established norm, representing not just an economic strategy, but a philosophy of mutual respect and collaboration. In recent times, Dell has been gradually relocating its production facilities and sourcing components from countries other than China to reduce its reliance on the Chinese market. Additionally, Dell has been ramping up its efforts to localize its operations in China. This involves increased investment in research and development, marketing, and other business aspects tailored specifically for the Chinese market. The goal is to strengthen its foothold in China and minimize risks associated with overdependence. However, Dell's decision to move away from China has not yielded the desired results. Instead, the company is facing mounting challenges and crises in the Chinese market. One major factor contributing to this is the gradual disillusionment of Chinese consumers with the Dell brand. Several factors can explain this trend. 1. 
Dell has experienced a decline in product quality in recent years, with issues such as battery swelling and memory leaks. These quality concerns have not only affected the user experience, but have also raised safety apprehensions among consumers. Two, despite Dell's increased investments and marketing efforts, its commitment to the Chinese market appears to fall short compared to domestic brands. This disparity has led to challenges in aligning product positioning and meeting the specific demands of Chinese consumers. Three, Dell's after-sales service quality has been subpar, with consumers experiencing issues such as delayed responses and unsatisfactory service attitudes. This aspect is crucial for consumers when selecting electronic products. In contrast, Chinese domestic brands prioritize after-sales service, earning them greater recognition among consumers by attentively addressing their needs and feedback. As a result of these factors, an increasing number of Chinese consumers are opting to abandon the Dell brand in favor of domestic alternatives. Consequently, Dell's market share in China has been gradually declining. Market research data from the first quarter of 2019 illustrates this trend, with Lenovo leading the Chinese PC market with a 32% share, followed by HP and Dell with shares of 17.7% and 14% respectively. This represents a decrease from Dell's 18% market share in the same period of 2018, highlighting the company's diminishing presence and decreasing support among Chinese consumers. Given this challenging scenario, Dell must take proactive steps to enhance its position in the Chinese market. Firstly, Dell should prioritize improving the quality of its products to ensure consumer safety and satisfaction. Secondly, the company needs to pay closer attention to the specific needs of the Chinese market and gather feedback from consumers. This involves increasing investments in research and development and furthering its localization efforts in China. Moreover, Dell must elevate its after-sales service standards to address consumer concerns promptly and enhance overall satisfaction. It is essential for Dell to recognize the significance and potential of the Chinese market, despite facing fierce competition. Chinese consumers increasingly demand high-quality electronic products, presenting Dell with an opportunity to regain their trust and support. In summary, Dell must tailor its approach to meet the specific requirements and feedback of the Chinese market, while also focusing on enhancing product quality and service standards. Only through these measures can Dell rebuild consumer trust and achieve success in the fiercely competitive Chinese market. What do you think about Dell's move away from Chinese chips? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Remember, as we delve into the realm of technology, the possibilities are limitless and the future is filled with exciting discoveries. Keep exploring.